Hi, welcome to SobiTech. In this video, we are going to show you how to download and install Android apps on the Changhong M3000 LED projector. We will also show you how the main video streaming apps works on the projector. Changhong M3000 projector's operation system is a customized Android 9 system which allows compatible Android apps to be installed. The operation system is developed without Google Mobile Service Framework, which means there is no Play Store. To install Android apps on the M3000 projector, there are two options. The first option is to install apps from the App Store. The projector is delivered without any App Store preloaded. You need to obtain the App Store Android application package, the APK file, from your dealer. Then install it via USB. The installation of the APK file is pretty straightforward as we are demonstrating here. The App Store offers lots of compatible Android apps. You can search and install apps from here. We are now demonstrating the process to install SmartTube which is an optimized YouTube app. You can install other apps in the same way. From the App Store, we've installed some most popular streaming apps including the SmartTube, Kodi, Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. Now let's have a quick look at how those apps works on the M3000 projector. This is SmartTube. When it is open, you can sign in your Google account so you can access your playlist, viewing history etc. SmartTube has a great advantage which is its smart filter, it will block any YouTube advertisement so you can view YouTube contents without being disturbed. We find SmartTube works great on M3000. The image resolution is set at 1080p by default, as long as your internet connection speed allows, you shall have a high definition viewing experience without problems. The M3000 projector's remote works really well with all those Android apps. You can quickly shake the remote to activate its air mouse function which is very handy when you need to navigate the app's interface, make selections, input text etc. We've tested other Android-based projectors recently, including the Zhimi Halo, ViewSonic M2 etc. None of those projector has this air mouse function which makes it impossible to navigate on some apps such as Netflix. Here is Kodi, one of our favorite Android app. From Kodi, you can install lots of video and audio add-ons for a rich streaming experience. We are now make a quick demo on how to install BBC iPlayer on Kodi. When BBC iPlayer is installed, we are able to stream BBC programs in 1080p. When you go to video settings on Kodi, you can even set advanced features such as image zoom, vertical shift etc. Here is Amazon Prime Video app. We found the Amazon Prime Video app works fine on M3000, however, it seems the image resolution is limited to 720p for some unknown reason. Here is Netflix. Netflix runs on M3000 perfectly at 1080p resolution. Those are the main streaming apps we installed on M3000 via the App Store. We could not find Disney Plus in the App Store, that is where the second option of app installation comes to help. We download the Disney Plus APK file from APK Mirror Online, then saved it to an USB stick. Plug the USB stick to the projector, go to Media and find the APK file. All you need to do is open the APK file and select Confirm to install it. Now, we have the Disney Plus app installed on the projector. After logged into our Disney Plus account, we can use the remote as the air mouse to browse and watch on Disney Plug in 1080p resolution.
That is all for the quick looks at the installation of the main streaming apps on M3000 and how they works. Generally speaking, we found the Android app experience on M3000 is satisfactory. However, if you use Amazon Prime a lot, you may consider to plug in TV dongles such as Amazon Fire TV Stick in order to view Prime video in 1080p. We hope you find this video helpful, please be free to contact.